Hey, hey, it's Leanne and Simon on Loving Life Now for today's topic, the law of attention. The law of attention. I well, feel great. like we're crooked. Oh, ah, that's all right. Dave, put your hand up on the camera. And look, uh, thanks for joining us on Facebook Live this evening on Loving Life Now. Um, as you join us, pop your details in, let us know that you are here. We'd love to personally welcome you. And let us know where you're streaming in from. So uh, just pop in, the, pop in the chat, let us know where in. you are streaming in from so we can welcome you to tonight's live stream. And we're over here on Facebook Live and also on TikTok. We are. So we need to move the camera around on TikTok so that I'm Oh uh, yeah, it. do you want to be in it? Uh, not really. There you go. <laughs> I was trying to stay out of it. So we've got someone from Sweden over here. All right, so as you join us here on Facebook, let I us know that you are here you and uh, pop your details in the chat. We'd love to welcome you and know where you're streaming in from this evening. We've got a great topic lined up called the Law of Attention. So last week we spoke about the Law of Attraction. The week before we spoke about personal development, just personal development in general. Uh, g'day, Karen. Thank you for getting the chat started from Antigua in Queensland. We've got WA over here. Uh, Natasha Darwin. Johnson. Hello. Where are you streaming in from? Let us know. Pop your details in. Say hi. I'm streaming in from wherever. G'day, Cheryl from Sydney. Welcome. Uh, Kayla from Boston in the US. Welcome to you. Great to have you here. Um, saw your videos, Kayla. They are awesome. Awesome. Uh, Michelle, welcome. Uh, watch you on TikTok too. Good on you, awesome. Michelle. Thank you. She's in Sydney in New South Wales. And we've got Jano. We've got Kelly. We've got Newcastle. And Natasha's streaming in from Canberra. We've got Bev. Bev's coming in from somewhere in a sauna. Bev's in the sauna. Uh, Jade came in from TikTok. G'day, Jade. Welcome. Let us know where you're located, though. Are you in Australia? Are you overseas? Mm. Shani, hello from Sydney. G'day, Shani. Welcome to our Facebook Live. Uh, as we said, as you join us, pop your details in the chat. We'd love to welcome you to the Facebook Live this evening. And of course, we've got a great topic lined up, the law of yeah. attention. You need to be I am. focusing I over am, here. I am sharing. <laughs> Stop being so bossy. Uh, get it going. Come on. Oh, Don't worry about the TikTok going it. on. You try and do it. It's not that easy anymore. They've changed it on All me. All right. Um, Kayla said, thank you. I appreciate you too. Thanks, Kayla. Uh, Jade said, I'm from New Zealand. Excellent. Thanks, Jade. Late over there in New Zealand now. It is. Uh, Elizabeth is from South Australia. Kadena in South Australia. Welcome. Uh, Michelle Peel, hello, happy Tuesday. Welcome from the Gold Coast. G'day, Michelle. I'm just doing thanks. some sharing, I'm nearly done. Thanks for joining us on Facebook this evening. And as we said, we've got a great topic lined up called the Law of Attention. Last week we spoke about the Law of Attraction. The week before we spoke about personal development in general. And this is, I think we're up to episode, do you know what episode we're up to? Is this 84? 80 something. 80 something. So uh, we've been continuously doing these episodes each and every week, and we're up to about episode 84 or something of that nature. Yes. Uh, Bernie Island says uh, Vietnamese backflips in Burley tonight. Vietnamese backflips. <laughs> All right, so I've done sharing. So we've got Tisha. Um, who else? We Pam, got? welcome from Harvey Bay. Uh, Bernie, you have our attention. Thank you. Okay. So great, great to have you guys joining us on Facebook. Let us know as you... Join us where you're streaming in from. We'd love to welcome you. Tom from the US. Hello, Tom. Natasha says number 84. 84. Thanks, Natasha. Nice. I thought it was 84. So right. 84 episodes we've been doing wow. up to episode 84. That's a few. And if you want to watch any of the past episodes, you can find them on YouTube. Yep. Uh, they're on our Simon and Leanne YouTube channel. They're also on Facebook on Loving Life Now yep. under the video section. And you can go back and watch any of the past episodes that we've done. Um, we cover off personal development topics each and every week, mm -hmm. and there's some really great stuff that we talk about. So, um, you know, if you're interested, in, yeah, if you're interested to go and have a look, they're always no longer than 30 minutes, and um, some really great information yep. that you can implement. Absolutely, Hayden Muzza and Kevin from Canada. So we've got, uh, of course, we're on a different time zone now. It's 8:30 for all those people in New South Wales and Victoria. Uh, of course, it's 7:30 for us in Queensland. Now that you guys have got daylight saving kicked in, uh, it's probably throwing everyone out. It we've, is. Everyone's confused what time it is. We've had a couple of messages saying, aren't you meant to be live? We're like, yeah. Soon. On Queensland time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not, not New South Wales or Victoria. So let's get this underway. What have you all been right. up to before we get into the topic? Uh, well, we didn't go to Adelaide. We're meant to go to Adelaide. We were looking forward to going to Adelaide. <laughs> Kirsty wanted sad. us to go to Adelaide. Very sad. But uh, we didn't get to Adelaide. We had to... Uh, we were... Telling you last week that we were going to Adelaide, and then on Thursday, Thursday morning, we were packed. We were packed, packed ready, ready to go. go. Had a driver picking us up to go to the airport, and we literally, 
uh, had to pull the pin on Thursday morning. Um, South Australian government changed the regulations on entry from um, South East Queensland or from people that have been on the Gold Coast, Brisbane yeah. or Moreton Bay. And it meant that if we arrived, we had to have a COVID test and then isolate for until we, we, got, a until we got a result. And, and then, then we had, had another a, one before we left. Another one on day five. So we thought, ah. Yeah, too that, much hard work. Stuff's our plan. So um, we, uh, we'll cancel it. Awesome. So we did lots here anyway. Yes, we did. We got, we partied the weekend away. We did. We went out. We caught up with people, friends. Yeah. Um, had a great time watching uh, the grand final and the rugby, uh, watching us, the Wallabies play mm -hmm. and the All Blacks play with friends. Yes. And uh, went to the casino and had dinner and had lunch out on Friday. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, and then, had, some, had a great time. And they had lunch with mum and dad and stayed at the casino Sunday night. Absolutely. And it was lots of fun. So anyway, here we are back this week with a, a, a whole new topic. And this week we're going to Cairns. We are. <laughs> Woo! And we are going to Cairns We're going week. to Cairns. <laughs> So we're going to Cairns on Friday, just for three nights. Yes. Two days, three nights. And uh, we're doing a Great Barrier Reef tour, and uh, we're going out on a boat, and we're helicopter. getting the helicopter back. Ah, so excited. So um, we get on the helicopter, go around the Great Barrier Reef for about 10 minutes in the helicopter, and then zoom back into Cairns in the yes. helicopter. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Once in a lifetime experience, how hey, you got to do these things? We do. Uh, we've both been in a helicopter in uh, the Grand Vegas. Canyon in Vegas. So uh, we thought, how often do you get to go in a helicopter over the Great Barrier Reef. Not very often. Not very often. So uh, we've been in a plane over the Maldives, mm -hmm. in a seaplane. That was fun. That was epic. Going oh, through a I storm. It was scary and, and fun. It was scary and fun. <laughs> well, the flight back was fun. It was. The flight there was a little bit a scary. A little bit hairy. Yeah, it was a little bit yeah. hairy. There was a storm we went into. So we're flying straight into a storm. And when you're in a seaplane um, and you can, there's no cockpit, there's no cabin door to the, to the pilot. So no. we can see straight out the front windscreen. And all we could see is us flying into this black sky in front of us. And uh, we have few, a few, like, boom, few air pockets boom. where the plane dropped out of the air a little bit. And there was a few people not so well on board the plane. So that was an experience. It was. It was. But then to land on the ocean, like to land in the Maldives on a seaplane, yeah. that's an experience. It was. It was so, um, you know, you've got to do these things. You've got to have great experiences. Um, Chantelle's joined us. She said, helicopter ride with my son is on the bucket list. Sounds amazing. And, of course, she's streaming in from Rockhampton. So, great awesome. to have you cool. here. Well, let's get started on our topic. All right. Well, the law of attention. Well, last week we spoke about the law of attraction. So, what's the difference with the law of attention? Hmm. Well, the practice... What? I don't know. You're going. <laughs> you go. Lead the way. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So, the practice of law of attraction is really the law of attention. Yeah. So you put attention on the things that we fear or that we want, and then we attract the things that we fear or we That's want. That's right. So it's what you put your attention on. So the law of attraction works in our lives, but then it's the law of attention. So where are you putting your attention? What areas are you putting your attention in? Mm -hmm. Are you putting them into positive areas? Are you focusing on things that you want? Or are you focusing on the negative? Are you focusing yeah. on things that you don't want? And of course, we all know the law of attraction works that if you, whatever you focus, focus on, on, put your attention on, you get more of. Yes. So the law of attention is focus and refocus. So you've got to focus your attention and then refocus. Make sure that you are focusing on what it is that you want, not what you don't want. Um, faster and more accurately, you can calculate, you can predict, you can decide, you can act, and you can adjust. Mm -hmm. Your attention, right? You can do all these things. You can predict what you want to put your attention on. Yeah. You can focus on what you want to put your attention on. Um, you can take action on what you want to put your attention on. So they're really important things. And of course, um, you know, one of the things we spoke about in a topic is, is your attention on that which you fear? Like, are you actually putting attention on things that you're fearful of? Mm -hmm. um, or are you putting attention on things that you want in your life? Yeah. So have you ever been in a situation, Lee, where you've focused on things that you don't want? Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. And I uh, try not to do that so much currently, but I have in the past a how lot. The, how did yes. that pan out for you? Not very well. Not very well? <laughs> no. No, well, of course, you, uh, like we said, if you focus on what you don't want, you're going to mm -hmm. get more of that. Yes. Right? And, uh, of course, if it's not what you want, then you certainly don't want to be focusing on it because you don't want to attract more of the things you don't want. Definitely not. Um, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. So how do we gain more control over our own attention? That's the secret. 
So we've got to be aware of what it is that uh, we're putting our attention on. Now Sue Robson's just commented, I've enjoyed, um, I've enjoyed boarding a helicopter from the deck on the super yacht. I worked on the, I worked on and flew around for several hours of the location. I am, it was so amazing. I am so amazing. You're so amazing. <laughs> um, flew around. Uh, that would be amazing yeah, in itself, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Getting on a helicopter from a super yacht. Chantel said the refocus part is so important, and often something I forget. With the blinkers come on and in autopilot mode, it's easy to get caught up in things and um, veer off the path. And then you must course correct. Yeah. Well, that's really true. You know, you can you can veer off the path and you can really be focusing on things that you don't want. And the more energy you put on that, um, sometimes we, we get caught up and we've got to take stock and reconnect, right? Absolutely. John said, life is perspective. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're correct. Absolutely. The true effort is in controlling your attention, not in what you are doing. So remember, the true effort is controlling your attention. So be aware of where your attention is going and, um, and correct it if mm -hmm. need be, right? Yep. Um, so the law of attention, there's some examples about this, right? And these, these are life examples, Lee. So when you get in the car and you drive down the road and you're on... Uh, the open road and you're doing a hundred kilometers an hour mm -hmm. and there's cars coming at you the other way. Yeah. Are you, do you like have any attention that some like that those cars are going to veer into your path or are no. you just confident that you're driving on your yeah. side of the road and, stay on theirs. and they're driving on theirs, yeah. right? Yep. Totally. So your attention is on what? The road. It's on the road and where you're driving. Well, that's where it should be. Yes. Yeah. But it's not on, <laughs> it's not on the cars coming the opposite no. direction. Because as they say, if you look at the wall, you're going to go to the wall yeah, when absolutely. you're driving. So you look straight, right? So you certainly want to make sure that um, that you are focusing on where you're going and what you're achieving, right? So your attention is is being focused on driving down the highway. Yes. Right? Um, it's a bit like another example is um, dieting or eating. You know, if you're looking to uh, diet or get fit or, or lose weight, you're going to have a focus and an attention on what it takes to achieve the goal. Yes. So you your focus would be on what? So if you're trying to get fit, what would your attention be on? One of the things. Um, eating healthy. Eating healthy, that's one thing. Um, exercise would mm -hmm. be a big thing, right? Yes. If you want to get fit, obviously exercise is a big thing. So your attention is going to be on exercise. Yes. It's going to be on um, eating healthy. Um, and overcoming what? So if you're eating healthy, what do you have to overcome? Cravings. Cravings. Right. So um, so are you focusing your attention on the cravings? No. No. You want to overcome those. So again, it's about where are you putting your intention? And your best intention is going to get you to where you want to be, right? Correct. Yeah. Your best intention. So everything in our life is about result. Results. Nothing, nothing succeeds like success. Would you agree with that? Yes. Yeah, nothing succeeds like success. So um, when you create success, you feel good about it. You yeah. feel like you've achieved something. It could be something small. Mm -hmm. It could be something really big that you've been going after for a while, but it makes you feel good. And then you want to do more things which make you feel good. Yeah, absolutely. Which means you probably hit some other goals along the way. Absolutely. So it lights you up inside and you get a, a fire burning in your belly about, uh, you know, what it is that you've achieved and what you're looking to achieve. Yeah. So um, as we said, everything is about results. Now, ignoring something is not the same as conquering it. No. So a lot of people feel like, oh, well, if I ignore, ignore that, it'll go away. It'll go away. As opposed to, well, I, I, I can actually conquer that. I'll overcome it. Yeah. And uh, I'll put my attention on, on the positive, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, so that's, what, that's what we talk about when we're talking about the law of attention. Where are we focusing? What are we putting our focus and our energy on? Now, the purpose behind the law of attention, Lee, is what? Uh, simple one, to gain more control over your own attention. Yeah, so it's a simple. You want to gain more control over your own intention. Mm -hmm. How do we do that? Um, put more focus on it. Yeah, focus, awareness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think the key is just being aware. Yeah. Right. So that you can uh, you can be aware that where am I where am I shifting my my attention or my focus or my energy? 
Yes. Some people might say it's the energy that you're putting into something. Mm -hmm. Someone over here is asking which Facebook. If you go to Facebook and uh, it's Loving Life Now, then the number two on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. If you want to watch on But Facebook. the name of the page is Leanne Haggard, Loving Life yeah. Now. Yeah. Cool. So things that fixate are a person's attention, like advertising, right? So when we when we get fixated on a person's on um sorry on a person's attention, and they do this really well in marketing. You know, they they use flashy objects to grab our attention. Mm -hmm. They use Attractive people to grab sexy our attention. Women. Sexy women. Or sex sexy sells, men. right? <laughs> yeah. So they say sex sells. And you yeah. see it on billboards and you see it in magazines. And why do they do that? Because they want to grab attention. your attention. They want you to focus your attention on what it is that they're trying to sell. Yes. All right. So things that invalidate or threaten us draw our attention in life. Mm -hmm. So we also focus our attention on things that invalidate or threaten us. Why is that? Why do we? Why does our attention get distracted to go to those things? Because it's something that's going. How would I explain? Um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I, I know what I mean, but I can't. can't well, put it to words. Well, it's something <laughs> that concerns us. I would say, yeah, like okay. if we feel threatened or if we feel invalidated, we want to. We want to correct that. Yes. We want to overcome it. So we, you want to we try and fix it. Yeah, so we start to put attention in that yes. area, right? So sometimes that's, you know, that can be to our detriment because we don't necessarily want to put all our energy and all of our attention into uh, things that invalidate us mm. or things that threaten us, but we want to make sure they're right. Yes. Um, now, so we all can experience injustices in our lives where someone new comes into our circle of influence. And it causes uh, a ruckus. Yeah, well, in our lives, we, <laughs> we often have new um, circles of influence changing, new yes. people coming in. And those people can be disruptive mm -hmm. or they can be really good for our circle of influence as yes. well. So you've got to, you've got to uh, I guess, look at the people that you surround yourself with mm -hmm. and make a decision as to whether these people are serving you, whether they're, um, you know, whether it's a really positive experience and whether, in fact, these these are good people to have in your circle. And whether they're supportive and whether they help you move towards your goals or move you away from your goals. Yeah, absolutely. Um, did you have to, you know, reassess your circle of influence at any time in your life yeah. with personal development? Absolutely. Yeah. So people that you hang around and surround yourself with may not necessarily be uh, the influence or the people that you want influencing you in your life. Yeah, well, it's definitely changed over time for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And I think we all experience that yeah. at different times in our life. Sometimes it's workplaces. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, friends that we've had for life. Um, but they sometimes they can be stuck in old ways. Mm. And they might, may not be the, the best friends that you've got to be ha hanging around now. Yeah. So sometimes we have to really put our attention on the people we want to surround ourselves with. Mm -hmm. Who's part of our circle of influence? What are the people that we want to aspire to be like? What are the people that we want to learn from? What are the people that, uh, that are showing us the way forward in creating something better for ourselves? Yeah. So are those the people that we're surrounding ourselves with? Being our circle of influence. Yeah. So, of course, understanding the law of attention becomes easier to recognize when your attention gets drawn in. Right? So when we get drawn into something with our attention, we can see it. Yeah. We know that we're putting attention on it because mm -hmm. it excites us and, and it's, uh, it's fun and it's lively and it gives us energy and gives us a spark. Yeah. So, uh, so certainly understanding the law of attention becomes easier to recognize the more your attention gets drawn in. Remember that. So again, this is, this is simply about recognizing where we focus our attentions, mm -hmm. making sure that it's on the positive, yep. making sure that our circle of influence is the right circle of influence and the people that we're allowing into our circle and that right. might take you a bit of time to work Sometimes out and a bit of time to change if you need to change it. Yeah, so absolutely. it's not going to just like happen overnight. Yeah. And, and having the awareness that if, you, if you're putting your attention in the wrong area, sometimes we can, be, uh, we can have competing priorities in our life. Would mm -hmm. you agree with that? Yes, yep. absolutely. And we can focus attention on things that are not moving us closer to our goals. And we should be focusing our attention on something else which is actually moving us closer to our goals. But we're letting this thing over here distract us yeah. and take our focus. Absolutely. So then yep. that becomes a distraction. Mm -hmm. um, or it's just where simply where we're putting the, the attention in the wrong place. Yeah. So once we have that awareness, 
Um, and I know that you and I both have always, um, we've learned being in this industry that, you know, you ask yourself a question when you're looking to make a decision. And that is, is this going to move me closer to my goal or? Further away. Further away. And if it's going to move you further away, is that a good thing? No. No. Because <laughs> you want to be heading in the right Going direction. in the wrong direction. So you want to be heading towards your goals. You want to make sure that you're out to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. Yeah. So put your attention on the things that are positive, the things that you want to achieve, have an awareness. And if you need to course correct, and if you need to change your attention from those distractions, yeah. then do that. Make it happen. Absolutely. Anything else you want to share? No. Well, that's it. Nice, easy topic for this week. Law of Attention. So um, as we mentioned, we are planning. We are planning. We are going to Cairns. We're planning stuff. Oh, we're planning. We're going to Cairns. But we're planning to get to Cairns on Friday. We will go there. We're going there. Um, And uh, we've got bags half packed because we uh, unpacked from Adelaide, which was funny because it was all winter stuff. Yeah. And now we've got to uh, pack summer stuff because 31 degrees in Cairns. So we're looking forward to that. Friday, Saturday out on the reef. That'll be a big day. Back in the helicopter, we'll go out to dinner Saturday night. And I think Sunday might be a, a nice, enjoyable day by a pool somewhere. Sounds good to me. Uh, then out to dinner. And then Monday, we fly back home. So it's a quick trip. Mm-hmm. Uh, up to Cairns for a couple of nights uh, and to see the reef. But we'll be back here next Tuesday. Next Tuesday night, we'll be back with uh, another new topic on um, our personal development program. We'll We'll pick out our next topic and we'll talk about that. So Mm -hmm. be sure to join us, 7.30 p.m. Queensland time. So for all those people that uh, missed us on Facebook Live because of the Daylight Saving Chain, 7.30 Queensland time, 8.30 for those people in New South Wales, Victoria and Tassie. And uh, South Australia, of course, it would have been, what, 8 o'clock? Yes. 8 o'clock for those people in SA. So great to have you here. Make sure you're back same time next week. We'll look forward to seeing you then on Loving Life Now. And thanks to all those that joined us over here on TikTok as well. So thanks, everyone. Have a great week. Bye Bye for now.